CBTV Live at the Channel Partners Expo right here in beautiful Las Vegas. I'm Brady Hicks, managing editor, Channel Vision Magazine, and I have somebody, I know I, they're always special, but this guy in particular, it's such a cool concept. I'm excited to talk with him. His name, David White. He's the director, North America, for CM.com. How you doing, David? I'm doing great. How are you, Brady? I'm doing really well. I'm, real, I'm, I'm glad they didn't send a chat bot in place of a human <laughs> here. Uh, we're going to take about. Uh, we're going to talk about conversational commerce today. And uh, first of all, if you could, David, just tell us a little bit about the company. Yeah, it's actually a really cool origin story. I think I got probably the coolest origin story in the building. Uh, so if you fa uh, rewind back to the nightclubs in Amsterdam in 1999, uh, our founders, the DJ and a promoter, realized that they could get more fans to attend their shows and their concerts if they sent out group text messages. Okay. Then they started collecting uh, information and asking their fans to fill out cards a little bit about them so they could get to know who their fan base was. Uh, fast forward 24 years later, uh, CM.com, club messaging, that was an acronym. Uh, we're in 172 countries, we're publicly traded. Uh, and now we're in the U.S. bringing uh, conversational commerce through all of the various business messaging channels to, uh, to the Partner Expo here. Well, if you could talk a little bit about conversational commerce, because I think it's one of those things people understand, but they might not totally get. Yeah, it, it, it's, it is a relatively new concept. So uh, if you think about um, everybody that, that is on a mobile device in a messaging channel, whether that's uh, text messaging or uh, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, uh, brands have figured out that they need to market and meet their customers in the messaging social channels of their choice. Um, and so what, what conversational commerce is, is smart marketing, which leads to smarter marketing, uh, capturing who your customers are and what their habits are and their intent signals, uh, presenting those in a way to where when I retarget market you, I know that you like a red shirt, Brady. And so when, when the new lineup of shirts comes out, I can send you a message in WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger or text message, whatever the channel is of your choice, uh, on what the new line is in a red shirt. So we're driving up revenues. And so once you're transacting within the channel, um, you got to keep a happy customer. Yeah. So how do you service that happy customer? Well, you do that with chatbots. And when you look at uh, generational, generationally speaking, uh, in 2020, we saw a shift in the consumer power, the buying power from uh, the, the Gen Xers and the baby boomers to the millennials, to the Gen Yers, to the Gen Zers. And if you poll that, that particular demographic and you ask them if they'd rather converse with a chatbot versus a live person or calling a toll-free number, uh, all you got to do is look at American teenagers and, and look at where they live, and that's on their mobile device. So what CM.com is doing is bringing conversational commerce to brands into the mobile device um, and capturing and, and completing a complete buying journey. Uh, and it's, it's relatively new here, and there's not even really a space for it yet. There's a lot of UCAS providers and Omnichannel and CPaaS, which is the foundation of our offering, but we bring software to the table that will allow any brand to get into the, mis the business messaging business from a marketing standpoint, uh, arm them with chatbots to provide a superior customer experience, and even a live chat um, that will allow you to chat with a live agent and really bring that customer experience to an all-time high. So uh, this is a, a business that is seeing a 28% compounded annual growth, and by 2032, it's gonna be a $125 billion industry. So partners need to be aligning with companies like CM.com that have this kind of an offering um, so that obviously they can turn it into a brand new revenue stream. Partners here uh, walking the floor, they have deep embedded relationships with their clients. Um, we bring another and a new and a fresh conversation to the table. Uh, perhaps a partner uh, enable the brand, their client with a security or with a network. Uh, well, we can now allow that partner to have a conversation with a brand manager, with a marketing person, a chief marketing officer, an advertising person, and again, it becomes a new revenue stream. So we feel really bullish uh, about not only our offering and the technology, but what it means and, and the trending that we're about to see. So hopefully the partners here at the show, they, they stop by the booth, visit us and educate themselves, and uh, yeah, we'd love to partner.
Well, it's such a uh, just a it's just a smart idea, really, if you think about it. Uh, you kind of touched on some of the differentiators, but why should partners choose? the cm.com platform over some of the other stuff that's out there. Yeah, I think it, it just simply has to do with our heritage. Okay. So our company started in the messaging business. So it's not like we started as a voice company and then kind of evolved and, and or acquired a company or found ourselves right. in, the, in the messaging business. The foundation of our company, the heritage has always been the, the messaging channels. Um, and the rest of our, our product line kind of built from there. So I would say foundationally speaking, we've been doing this again 24 years. Uh, we're a global company. We understand how to help brands reach globally. Uh, that's what we do. Plus, uh, we're a very cool story that sells. It is a really cool story. Now you mentioned some really great statistics that really kind of highlight how important all this stuff is. Uh, where do you see CM.com in the future? Like what can people look forward to? Uh, hopefully, uh, you, you're going to start to see the brand a lot more, for sure. Okay. Uh, we're investing heavily in all of our global hubs, but uh, particularly here in the U.S. Uh, so as our brand and our story gets out to the marketplace, uh, we've got some, some really cool stories that enable this customer journey. Um, for instance, over in the Netherlands, uh, we, we enable the Dutch Grand Prix. So you buy your ticket, uh, you can order your, your Heineken at the race, you can interact with, uh, with uh, uh, Charlie the chatbot and, and have a live conversation about who your favorite driver is. Okay. Uh, if you need to know where the first aid area is. And then after the race is over, we've got basically 12 months of marketing. And I know you bought two Heineken, and I know that you bought five tickets, and I know that you bought two t-shirts of your favorite driver, and now I know how to really retarget and remarket to you. And from a customer experience standpoint, it's all on the mobile device uh, and, and it's all synchronous. And all of our platforms, they all interlock and interface with one another, really uh, providing any brand with some powerful tools and powerful insights. Uh, and and the, the, the byproduct is increasing that customer experience. Uh, two Heinegans, you know me too well. <laughs> Wearing a red shirt probably as well. Fantastic. No, that's great. Uh, if people want more information, where can they go? Um, stop by our booth. Uh, yeah, we're, we're here, uh, booth 2561. Uh, or you can find us, cm.com. Uh, connect with me on LinkedIn, David White, uh, at cm.com. And uh, yeah, we'd love to connect and uh, figure out how we can partner with you. Fantastic. Thanks so much for the time, David. Thanks, Brady. Appreciate it. Awesome. So there you have it. Make sure to check out cm.com. This is CVTV, and once again, we're live at the Channel Partners Expo. Everybody take care.